At this time, I'd like to introduce President Larry Dominic, who has supported the work of Corazon Community Services. and in particular the ceasefire program. He is committed to changing the face of Cicero by supporting programs that work with youth, such as ceasefire. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce President Larry Dominic. Thank you, Adam. Um, when you lose a child in the street, that's probably the worst thing that could happen. I got married this past December, and I knew uh, my wife, Elizabeth, for a long time, and she lost a son. Uh, three years ago and it's it's probably the hardest thing you could do and part of the reason of us being here is get these kids involved in activities and stay out of gangs and hopefully you know uh, we can eliminate a lot of killings this summer and shootings whether they shoot and miss or shoot and hit it's still bad and uh, as town president it hurts uh, deeply when these kids are shot and killed. It's a, it's bad on the police, it's bad on the town, it's bad on me. And hopefully, with the help of Adam, who's done a great job, Ishmael Vargas and all his crew, they've been outstanding, and I think they deserve a great hand. The hardest thing to do is go to a house where a child has been shot and killed and talk to him and Ishmael being such a great guy and great leader, he's done an outstanding job at that and uh, you know I, if I wore a hat I'd tip it to him because he's a great guy and hard worker, same with Adam and his crew of uh, workers is unbelievable. But as, um, as a community we have to get together and fight hard. If you see some information call the police. You know even if uh, it's a bad tip, it's a tip. We'd rather follow a bad tip than no tips at all. So if you see something, don't be afraid to call the police. We have an outstanding gang unit. We have an outstanding police department. Uh, plenty of auxiliary policemen. And we'll get over there and we'll see what the situation is. As town president, I have to uh, want to also thank two important people that helped the town a lot. Well, three actually. One of them's not here today, Mario Moreno. He's he's been um, he's been helping us get cameras on the streets. And I've talked with Phil Klein, the superintendent of police in Chicago, and crime is down 73 percent on the streets where the cameras are. So I want to thank Commissioner Mario Moreno for that. And then I have uh, State Rep Lisa Hernandez. She's here. I want to thank her for all the um, hard work she gets to get the town of Cicero money to help fight this gangs. And um, between her and Senator Martin Sandoval, who's here, <laughs> Cicero is very fortunate. They have two of the best hardworking uh, people in Springfield. And believe me, every time I talk to them and ask them for some extra money, they reach out and get it. And, I want to thank them for all the hard work. So, this week is very important to the town. You have friends, get them out and get in that gang march on Friday and uh, show the gangbangers that we're not afraid of them and that eventually we're going to win the war. And it's just like a war. They're fighting over their territory and we're going to fight harder to get our territories back. And, I want to say uh, God bless everybody and thank you, Adam and Ishmael and all your hard work you are doing. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, President Dominic. I'd like to call forward Senator Martin Sandoval. He is believed 